G'day there folks. So in this demo I'm going to show you a little bit more about data sources and how you can filter what they return using another UI widget. Uh, so to get started you can see I've uploaded a data source just with a list of countries by name and abbreviation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table view with that. Uh, so we'll bring in our table view, bring it to size and put in our names of countries. Okay, so you may have noticed that when I drop that data on there, you get one of these. And this is what you call a data accessor. And this is what's providing the data behind what you see here. Um, so I can go through and obviously manipulate the properties of that. Um, I can also filter that data so that what you see in the table view uh, has been manipulated by another UI component. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to bring in a text field, add it to the top here, and set up our app so that when we start typing data into the text field, we start filtering down the list of countries in this table view. Um, so to do that, <coughs> we'll go to our data accessor and we'll add a filter. We obviously want to filter by the name of the country. We want to say that it starts with whatever we're typing in, and we want to enable it. So if I look at the Project Explorer here, uh, for the data access for the table view, if I fold that down, <coughs> you can see I now have a filter by name. And you can obviously see the column, operator, value, and enabled. So when I start typing text into my text field, there's an action called editing changed. And what I want to do is change the value in that filter. So I'll drag my editing changed onto my value operator of my filter and set the value to my text area's text. Obviously then I want to refresh the data that I've got in my table view, so I simply drag from my editing changed onto my data accessor and tell it to fetch. Uh, it's as simple as that. So now when I start typing in here, you'll see this list of countries update. Let's go and preview that. 